Several HHS students got a look at Poole's progress last month during City of Government Day. Reporter Elizabeth Lockhart takes a look at what else those students did. In the past month, Harrisonville has elected new city officials, but for one day, students from Harrisonville High School ran the city. This is part of the annual Student Government Day. 22 students paired up with city officials to learn the ins and outs of our town's government. I was serving on the city council in 1975 when the mayor, Bob Johnson, requested uh, we come up with a game plan to involve the youth. So when we first started, we had trouble filling all the positions at City Hall. On the high school end, they feel it is a success as well as a learning experience. I've always felt that Student Government Day is a, a learning experience, um, mainly because the, the students themselves actually get to see how their city government works. You know, you can talk about it till you're blue in the face, but unless they actually see how these people work, there's a tendency to not understand. After a brief meeting, the students broke off and went to find out more about the position they were elected to. I was the electric distribution supervisor, and the most important part about it would be that that's the kind of work I want to do, and I got a little more insight on what I wanted to do. Today I was an alderman, and the most important part about my job is making sure the government runs smoothly with um, outside input. Students realize that skills they are learning now will be needed for them to succeed in their future jobs. The most important thing about city administrator is having a wonderful communication with the mayor. I am his right-hand man. I think the most important thing an alderman does is represent his or her ward. Uh, people in the community can come to them. They can write him letters at any time and say, this is happening at my house and I don't like it, you know, and they can tell him to change it. Though it was a success for the high school and the city, the students will come back here to school. And who knows, someday they may be running our city. This is reporter Elizabeth Lockhart with camera person Stephanie Lyon for WCN.